Hey, hey guys, and welcome back to another round of War Robots with Stupendous. So, we're dropping in here with a few clan mates. So, we've got uh, Sergeant Overkill, Yo Daddy, and Sennacherib that we should be dropping in with. There's uh, there's Overkill there. Um, there they are, okay. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm glad I was able to get in with Yo Daddy. I actually haven't been able to, uh, <laughs> timing wise, I guess it just hasn't worked out when we've been on at the same time. So, it's really cool that he's here. Um, all right, so I'm gonna grab this beacon. Yeah, it looks like that's what uh, Sergeant Overkill was making sure I was doing. We we communicate with uh, with gunfire. We're very civilized. <laughs> All right, looks like a carnage over here too. So I'm just gonna start shooting and hopefully he doesn't uh, move this way. Um, he probably wasn't planning on doing that anyways because you don't have to move past that uh, that barrier there to take out that beacon or to to grab that beacon anyway. It's like a Russian death button there. All right. So, should be able to move forward here. I think I'm just going to use my sprint here and, and we'll go through and we'll take out this death button guy here. Yeah. Or Russian death button, rather. Looks like he's retreating. Probably won't be able to uh, to take him out before he gets behind cover. Oh, he's able to use his jump. That's handy. Oh, I didn't see that he had that Tehran. Uh, interesting. Alright, he should go out right here. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> oh, love it. Alright, so Leo. That's another great target for Thunders. Um, yeah, look out for, uh, as I've said like a million times, make sure you're looking out for bots with a lot of surface area when you're using Thunders. Great way for them to uh, eat as much damage as possible. I wasn't sure what that was at first over here. <laughs> looks, like, uh, looks like a VT has. Yeah, they're... Uh, I feel like with how fast the Galahad is, the VT has and Golem probably should have a little bit of a speed buff. And the Golem did have a little bit of a speed buff, but uh, they got rid of it. So. Ring around the rosy, pocket full of posy. Oh, sorry, just got a notification on my phone. <laughs> there we go. Just silence my phone as we're uh, we're walking sideways here. Okie dokie. I really want to take this guy out. I'm I'm gonna die here doing this, but I just I just really feel like taking him out. So, <laughs> all right, we'll turn around here and do what we can to this guy. Uh, run backwards to avoid some of those rockets. And yeah, there we go. I think we're able to do some decent damage into him. So I'm going to hop into my death button Griff. And I think that guy, yeah, I'm going to make him my target. And he's moving perfectly for it. I'm going to jump up here and we'll put a clip into him. There we go. And I think I, I missed some of that too. And I think his jump helped him to avoid a little bit of that sma splash damage. Yeah, smash damage. Yeah, what if they had a... What if they had, like, a hammer for weapons and... It was its effective range is like five. <laughs> That'd be kind of fun. All right. Anyway, so I'm gonna support in the middle here. Seeing a bunch of rhinos this round, so uh, this is a, this is a good setup to have for. Uh, this is my uh, my rhino repellent. All right. So he's just about dead. There we go. I was just gonna poke a orkin around the corner there to uh, <laughs> to get him. I just put my right orkin into into the wall there. That was back call. Jump, jump back. All right. So you see there. I mentioned this uh, in yesterday's video uh, with the uh, with the rhino and the Russian death button thingy. Um, I mentioned uh, like using griffins properly and stuff like that. And there's just an example of uh, making sure you're using it to evade. You don't have to use the jump all the time. Like just because it's like available, you sh don't have to be jumping forward or something like that. Um, I had that one saved up, so as soon as I saw that rocket spray, I was able to jump backwards. Stalker. All right. I don't think I got that kill. I think uh, Mac and Cheese did. I've been playing with him a lot. It's kind of weird. Um, I've, I've noticed over the last week I've probably played with him like probably five out of seven days, and it's just random matchups. And a couple of them, I think it was I think it was two days ago, or no three days ago, um, we had two matches together. I think one was on Yamantau, and then the other one was was another map. But two matches in a row, which is kind of weird. You usually don't uh, see random people uh, that frequently. There's a lot of people to play this game. Uh, so we need to get push these rhinos back here. I'm, I'm ready to jump backwards here if they start looking at me. <laughs> so I didn't want to jump straight backwards. I wanted to jump this way so I could keep uh, firing upon this guy, and then I'll move behind cover myself. I was actually hoping to land a little further to my left, but uh, but this works out okay. Move into the ah, uh, that stalker took out my other orkin. Booger. <laughs> He's my, my one orc in here to take this guy out. All right, I, I think I'm just going to jump in here, and uh, we'll, we'll get taken out, but I should be able to avoid some of this guy's rockets right here. There we go. Cool, I think I got most of my, uh, or all of my pinata into him, so that's really good. 
All right, so it looks like they're, they're totally spread out all around that center area, which isn't good for us. Um, so I'm going to see about clearing them off this left wing here. Um, this guy and that guy there. We'll, we'll see if we can clear them off this left wing. We can't have them on the side. We need to be able to focus forward more. So just kind of looking around and seeing what we're dealing with here. Yeah, so I think we'll, we'll help take out these two over here. And then we'll, we'll switch focus. We might go over there to that Leo. Um, we'll, we'll see what happens after we take these out, what the battlefield looks like. <laughs> this guy's missing his thunder there. Thunder and or the Leo with the thunder and aphids there. Carnage. Chip away at him here while my Tehran reloads. Alright, he's behind cover. Let's see. Stalker. Galahad's great against stalkers. Oh, shield up. Come on, come on, take him out, take him out, take him out. Yeah, he's gone, and then that Stalker's actually taking some damage, too, um, even though he's cloaked. So that's really good. Let's see if we can uh, chip into this Rhino here. And then uh, I see that, that little arrow behind me. That I think there was a Griffin that jumped back to our side beacon. I really want to get over there and support. So I'm going to move over this way and, uh, and see if I can get into this area here. Sorry, I just had <laughs> one of my kids trying to come in here. All right, so I guess it wasn't a Griffin. That looked like it was a Rog. So, all right. So we've, we've cleared out our sides here. So now we can we can shepherd these guys into the into the center, into the front and center, I guess. We just don't want to let them get past this way. So I'm just standing up here. I really like. Uh, people have been asking like favorite spots on maps with different bots and stuff. And uh, this is one of my favorite spots to be with, with either a Griffin or a Galahad. Um, something with decent firepower. I like being up on top of these things. The Galahad is really nice because you have the shield that you're working with too. I'm going to step back here so that on my right I'm covered from that uh, that Raijin. Uh, he can't give me one. I'm helping to focus these guys there. Okay, so they're pushed back, so I'm going to help this guy focus him. See if we can take him out. Alright, cool. Alright, so now I'm going to move forward. I'm going to do the same thing on this little uh, broken building over here. I'm going to get up on top of that. And uh, they're focusing the Rhino there, which is really good. So I'm, I'm going to be able to probably have free reign over them. They're probably going to ignore me. So a lot of people just see the guy in front of them and they're like, shoot him! And his shield's up. I think I'm going to switch to this Leo here. I don't think I'm going to be able to uh, take him out before he can get to that beacon, but I don't want to expose myself out that way to that Rhino. I see him move in there, that little arrow indicator. Make sure you're looking at those arrow indicators. They're actually really handy if you use them right. Drop my shield and uh, run backwards here, avoid some of this uh, rocket damage. Alright, so it looks like it, it got a little close there, this battle, but I think we've got this in the bag. It looks like this guy might be the last one. I kind of feel bad for yeah, for the for golems when you're in a Galahad because there's not not tons they can do. Um, they're great corner shooters, though, so if, if you have someone who's piloting the golem and, and knows what they're doing, it can still be really effective against the, uh, against the Galahad. Alright, there we go. Pulled it in for a win. Um, anyways, hey, thank you guys so much for coming and checking out the video. Oh, nice. Million damage. Didn't feel like a million damage game, but that's cool. I'll take it. Um, but yeah, if you liked it, smash that thumbs up button. Let me know. Um, if you didn't like it, go ahead and hit the thumbs down button and let me know why you didn't like it so that I can improve the channel. I, I would I would really appreciate if you just took like two seconds and did that. Um, anyways, thank you guys so much for stopping by. Have an amazing day.